Welcome back to the Precision Air Rifle channel. You can see we're going to be shooting a pistol today. We're going to be shooting the Brocock Automatic XR in 22 caliber. And the reason that I purchased this one was because we have two Grand Prix for a field target in North Carolina. And I would like to shoot on Friday. So this is why I decided to get the Brocock 22. Uh, it's not the 177 that most people shoot, but I did find some Jumbo RS Diablos from uh, JSB in 1343 grains. So I'm shooting it at 624 feet per second. The field target range is only 35 yards. I've got this one set sighted in for 20 and 35 yard drop wasn't too bad. It was like an inch and a half. So I think I can make it work. Is it the best solution? No, but it is a solution that I can use for shooting field target and putting the stock on and taking out and pesting if I want to a little bit. I've been real pleased with this pistol. Uh, I did mount up my AccuTac bipod on it and I'm using a bag for support. I will be shooting it in field hunter position which is off a bucket and sticks but for right now till I get used to it and test out its accuracy I'm shooting it off a bench with a bag. Uh, she has been shooting real well. Um, I'm pleased with it. The weight, it's not going to be bad in Field Hunter uh, off of sticks. Shooting it offhand, that's going to be a little bit interesting because of the weight of it. It is about six pounds for the pistol and scope, uh, so that is a little bit heavier but the accuracy more than makes up for it and I'm definitely pleased with it. Uh, why don't we do a little bit of shooting. I am going to use the 11 shot magazine instead of the single shot tray. Um, it's a little bit easier to load the single shot tray with these short pellets. It can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, let's do some shooting. We do have a little bit of a breeze, um, so we'll see how that affects us. Went up a little bit high right, still in the bullseye, which I'm pleased with. <laughs> we'll see what we get on the next shot. I just wanted to make sure that I shot five shots. You can see the grouping at 20 yards off the bag was pretty good. Uh, I am using the 
MTC Optics, Mamba Light, 3 to 12. Uh, seems to be working real well. Uh, I put the uh, ranging wheel on it, so I have a little easier time ranging for the 10 to 35 yard targets that we'll be dealing with. Uh, a couple modifications that I've done to this, I did put the Picatinny rails on the pistol uh, to support the Mamba light scope. And the wheel is the only op option that I've changed and put on the scope. Uh, I have it set up for 624 feet per second, which is about 11.6, 11.7 foot-pounds of energy. When I first got it, I was shooting 18.13 JSBs, and they were shooting at about 19.7 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, and I was doing all my speed checking with a FX Crony. Seemed to work pretty good. Um, it's light, it's compact, and it just gives me the data that I need. Uh, when I do some more serious testing, I'll pull out the lab radar. I did purchase this pistol from Air Guns of Arizona. They were great, had it to me in a short amount of time. Um, I purchased the scope with it. The rings I bought from Amazon. Uh, they work real well. Um, they are fully adjustable so I can camp the scope if I want to. Uh, don't think it's needed for this range. Uh, the power adjuster, I've got set down the transfer port power adjuster, I've got set to low and I've got the hammer spring tension set to high. It works, it gives me decent groups uh, at 624 feet per second. I know that they say to run it at around 700 feet per second, but I can't do that because of the 12 foot pound limit that I'm dealing with. Uh, the gun with the moderator falls in under the 15 inch limit for the barrel. So I can leave the moderator on when I shoot competition and not have a problem. The center of the barrel to the bottom of the Picatinny rail is under three inches, so I'm good there also. So there's no problem with this being a field target rifle, pistol, um, that I can do. The first class that I'm gonna shoot field target with would be in the uh, Grand Prix at Carolina Gun Club, Central Carolina Gun Club in September. So I've got a little bit of time to practice and get better with it. Uh, I'm pleased with it. If you have any questions on it, drop them in the email, in the questions, in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, this is something I am going to be concentrating on for a while to get better with. The price of it, yeah, it was a little bit expensive. Uh, it did shock me a little bit, but the quality of the build is excellent. You've got a full machined aluminum lower with machined aluminum uh, receiver, a Lothar Walther match grade barrel in it. The shooting is excellent. Why don't we close this out with the last five shots on the bottom target and we'll see what it looks like together.
And for the six shot, let's see what we get with it too. Pretty pleased. I thank you for taking the time to spend with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and happy shooting.